Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. And this is our 133rd, 153rd, 153rd uh, episode of A Wee Bit of Alchemy. Um, so question came up, and I think it's a, a fruitful one for exploration. And I talk a lot about central equilibrium. So you know, Peter asked the question, like, how does, how does it work? How does cre creating the body structure in a certain way bring about this, uh, these insubstantial phenomena that we associate with central equilibrium? So that is, um, I think that's, that, that, that's an important question because the central equilibrium itself is a is a, an insubstantial state that is you are there is a feeling there that allows you to organize your body in such a way as to create uh, some very profound effects and one of the, the, the biggest is the, whatever you align correctly, then you, you are able to access the, you're able to connect up to a, a much bigger energy system. That is, you're able to access the, the yin chi of the earth and the yang chi of the heavens, and your body becomes part of that, that circuit. And the way that we talk about it is to introduce it by aligning the physicality of your body, your, your body's parts in such a way as to create this sense of balance of forces and counter forces, particularly the force of, of gravity pulling on you. And, um, Balancing in such a way as to, to lock into a, a point where you're cent the center of mass, your, your, your sense of your own center of mass is aligned and is supported by the, uh, your base, your structure. And we initiate it by creating these, uh, a structure which is really predictably solidly centered. And that is, some people confuse that with the actual central equilibrium itself. And it's actually much bigger than that. And that is kind of the doorway, the physical doorway, the substantial doorway we enter the, uh, this process through and it's a, a great way to to get your to remind your body mind of what that feels like but once you start moving then things get very fluid and your central equilibrium becomes a very um it becomes very fluid itself so it you're you're Taking, you're still checking in with how that center relates to your base, but your base can, can go all over the place and your center can go all over the place. And you can still find that, that insubstantial quality regardless of the position you're in. So let me just demonstrate with my body what I'm talking about here. This is the benefit for uh, a lot of people tuning in on YouTube as well, so that you know maybe you haven't uh, explored some of the stuff that that some of the people present have, but it's, it's really important. So I I want to start with something which is very familiar to me, and we'll we'll play around with this a bit in practice also. We I want to get I want to get a a base starting with my feet, and I want to feel my feet kind of spreading out and, and feeling the whole floor with the whole of my foot, but 
primarily, I'm going to start by focusing my attention on the balls of my feet. So that what that does is it allows me to uh, connect up, but it also kind of creates this yang impulse and, and kind of fills me up energetically. And so I get this and I reach for the crown of my head and that plugs me into the energy of the sky. And so here I am, boom. So my physicality is really centered and my energy is also centered. And that the two are in alignment there. And that refreshes my memory of what that feels like, of what that insubstantial feeling feels like. But then I'm going to say, OK, once I've got that, that going there, and again, we'll play with this. As I'm really just demonstrating right now. I'm going to explore what happens if I take that offline. So, oh. So now my physicality, my center of mass is over my left foot. So what I've done is I've shifted that rather, you know, significantly. So now I, I have to adjust my central equilibrium to my left foot. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to establish my base in such a way as to, to create a really firm foundation. And then I'm going to go back to center and feel into that and say, oh, okay, that's that's that same feeling here, but spread between both feet, going into my right foot. Then I say, oh, now it's here. And I'm feeling that now. Now I say, oh, okay. So once I've done that, once I've familiarized myself with that central pillar, I'm realizing that, okay, it's, it doesn't have to be dead center now. I can be Left leg, I can be right leg. Good. Okay, that's good. I can push my left foot forward and I can establish my, my central equilibrium primarily weighted in my left leg now in a, uh, in a bow and arrow posture. Cool. Now this is, this takes it and I go into my back foot and I find my central equilibrium here now. So I'm moving that around. What happens if I say, want to feel my center equilibrium, but I'm going to lean backward. Something that you now, as I sink into my back leg and lean my body backward, I want to adjust my inner sense to, uh, to align to the fact that I have my weight going, a lot of my weight going back over my heel. And this is something we, we know is a no-no from, from a, uh, 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 a structural standpoint, but from an energetic standpoint, we can make it work. All I have to do is feel my, my left foot, feel the ball of my left foot, feel my, my, my foot hanging in there, and I can have central equilibrium in this posture or in this posture. I can find it in any number of positions. So what I've done, what I've done is shifted my orientation from the physicality, from the, from the uh, substantial aspect of central equilibrium. And I've shifted it into the insubstantial which is that feeling of being centered. And that comes from doing it. That comes from, from some practice. So uh, the, uh, I'm gonna, gonna stop there for a moment and see if, uh, see if that is covering, uh, Peter, you asked the question, is that, how does that, uh, does that cover what you're, what you're looking for there? You're, you're on mute, Peter. Yeah, that's very helpful. And it's, it's uh, I think, giving me an understanding. I don't know. I, I hope it's right. That the, um, it's, it's really, you know, the central equilibrium seems to be, you know, hesitate to use the word soul. But it's like, you know, um, you're, 
like your body mind is is um is sort of concentric with the more that you are you could say the in, your insubstantial levels of being they they're kind of you know they're in the same place they're like they're you know there's an old saying i think in an african country you know be careful not to to you know rush around too much you want to give your your soul a chance to catch up with your body you don't want to get ahead of your self it seems like a similar thing that you want to it's like fully inhabiting your your gross physical structure with your your being and the more insubstantial levels of who you are and the the centers of both line up they're in the you're in the same place and then extending beyond that say then you do want to be able to rush around yes yes but be centered while, while right. doing it once, yeah, once, you once you've located once you got those two paired up then you right. can like do all kinds yeah. of fun stuff with it right but you don't want to fragment you know it's sort of like yeah i i think i'm i think this was very helpful because i was always like wondering if I, if I knew what what this really was. Now it seems clearer. Good, good. Uh, anybody else have any questions or comments on that? Richard. Um, well, I think that our um, our concept of central equilibrium, <laughs> central equilibrium. <laughs> Uh, begins with the concept of of balancing your weight so that every so that your uh, center of gravity is basically in the center and what we're talking about is maintaining that essentially maintaining your center when the <clears throat> central equilibrium is not running through the center of your body um, so as you move forward move back establishing central equilibrium is sort of a stretch of a concept because it doesn't look now it doesn't now look like the center of your central equilibrium is going through the center of your body right. so you're balancing other than your weight to achieve central equilibrium right right you're having to access something else and that's the, uh, that's the trick right is a trick and you know one of the keys to it is tensegrity <laughs> that is if you want to like a uh, like you get a big crane right you know and you have the the body of the crane here and then you have the arm of the crane sticking out you know they have them around here around the docks on staten island and those those booms can go out hundreds of feet you know and it is it's ridiculous that they're able to pick up stuff with the leverage at that at that length, you'd think that that something would would give, but no, it's it's able to it's able to do cool stuff. You're able to pick up, you know, boats with those uh, with those those long boom cranes, and uh, so whenever we go into the you know, like say if I'm leaning backward like that and I'm reaching out with my foot, what I'm doing is I'm utilizing that same principle of tensegrity to spread the force, the pull of gravity, spread it around throughout the whole system. So it's no longer located at the physical center of mass anymore. And that force is spread around throughout the whole system. So then I'm able to, to, uh, to extend my body in weird directions and be able to maintain that quality of being uh, in central equilibrium. And you and you demonstrate that when you play the no lost uh, positions game with us. Right, right. So you go, oh, okay, get put yourself into something that looks like it's impossible to get out of just for the fun of getting out of it. And, uh, and you do that by by accessing something beyond what we conventionally think of is just this balance of masses and we go into something a lot more a lot more interesting thank you you bet anybody else okay let's uh, take that and take it into a uh, an exercise 
which also incorporates the stuff we've been playing with the last few weeks, particularly yin and yang. And what I'd like to focus on this week is to uh, include within that central equilibrium concept, get to get the, uh, the body in, in, that, uh, in that state, is to then include the breath in, in, term, in, the, uh, in the expression of, of, of energy, the yin and yang energy. And specifically, get the idea of, of as we're opening and extending, that it is accompanied with an intake of breath, that we're blowing up the balloon, we're filling up the tire, we're you know, amplifying the, the, the space, the internal space by using breath. And corollarily, we, hmm, as we exhale, we go yin, we, the energy goes down. So we're, we're continuing to look using our neshi, that inner inward looking, to feel the directionality of the energy so that we can actually attune to, you know, the yin energy kind of having this centripetal or downward kind of motion and the yang energy centrifugal up and out. And we get, we get that in various postures so we're going to be exploring various postures, incorporating breathing with that. So we'll have the, um, we're going to include the using the heel with the reaching with the elbows as a way of physically imprinting this yin chi and include that with an exhale with a, we're an out, uh, yeah, an outward expression of breath and feel the energy moving down through the system as you do that. And then the move to the balls of the feet and reach with the wrists as you inhale and expand. And so we're gonna, I'm gonna put you in a, a, a few different postures. If you find it challenging, you know, um, you can always sit down and do it from a sitting posture, it it's uh, also fun, but uh, you know, going, being able to explore these different postures and the central equilibrium in each of them, as well, is uh, I think a really important part. Getting these different components and putting them together, because we've talked about them as individually in a lot of times, and we put them in various exercises. But we're going to take it and really bear down and focus on the yin and the yang in the central equilibrium of these uh, different postures. Okay, so why don't you stand up? Flight? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, step out. Okay. So, we're going to begin by getting that central equilibrium really well established. So, feel the balls of your feet. You feel the foot spreading throughout the, throughout, you know, feeling the floor with the whole of the foot, but particularly focusing on the balls of the feet. Feel the toes as they are. They're touching the ground. Knees are, are unlocked. And reach with the crown of the head. Open the jade pillow gate and tuck in the chin. So you're really feeling that your center of mass to being in the front part of the foot. And this creates a young, expansive energy. It allows you to, to really fill up that up and out quality to the energy flow. 
Relax your lower back and drop your sacrum. Allow your pelvis to, to level out. Uh, push away from the earth and then spiral down. We're gonna release the qua. Get a very sung qua. So you're sitting down in your legs while simultaneously reaching up with the crown. Point and reach with your index fingers and feel how that act immediately activates the tensegrity throughout the whole body. It activates the connective tissue system. It gives a signal to your connective tissue system to heighten its tensegrity. And simultaneously, that also heightens the quality of uh, the connective tissue system to conduct chi, allows the chi to move more, much more easily through your body. So your, what we're doing is we're getting the one chi, all parts connected idea that is core to, uh, to Tai Chi. Reach with your elbows and open your shoulder joints. So feel into your, your central equilibrium, orienting to the balls of your feet. And really get the, uh, a, uh, the feeling of that. Now let's shift into the heels, keeping your central equilibrium but you're still reaching with the crown, but you're in the heels now and you're sinking down into, into your, your feet, down through your feet and into the earth and feel the qualitative difference there, how the energy has shifted. You're still feeling a sense of fullness there, but the energy has a different quality to it. Let's go back to the balls of the feet and feel that feeling again, feeling that central equilibrium. And go into the heels and release down very soon. As you inhale, feel your wrists shift to the balls of your feet and your arms. Reach with the wrists, they're coming up, opening, breathe in, expand. And as you exhale, ah, go to your heels and reach with your elbows. And feel the yin. Balls of the feet. Inhale, feel the wrists. Reach with the wrists. Feel that expansion. Exhale, elbows, heels. Inhale, balls of the feet, wrists. Bring your arms up to chest height. <clears throat> arms are rounded, feel that expansion. Now go to your heels and exhale and feel the yin.
balls of the feet, inhale, wrists, heels, elbows, exhale, inhale, wrists, balls, Exhale, heels, elbows. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, yawn. Exhale, in. Inhale, yang. Exhale, in, and hands come down. Heels, elbows, exhale. And stay in the heels. And allow the energy to move through you. Cleansing. Taking out the trash. Pivot on your right heel to the ball, set the knee, inhale, reach with your wrists, arms coming up, and bring your left foot over on the toe. So we're in a universal post position now. Feel that expansion, inhale, and then exhale, heel. Elbows. Inhale, wrists, ball of the foot. Exhale, heels, elbows. Inhale, yang. Exhale, yin. Inhale, yang. Ball of the foot, reach with the wrists. Exhale. In. Feel into your central equilibrium. Notice that you're on one foot now. You're looking for that center. The central equilibrium is insubstantial, but it's also very elusive. That is, there's no one perfect spot. It is a dynamic relationship with your body, mind, spirit, with your energy. It's a, a construction in present time, a relationship. Go into the ball of your foot and inhale, expansion, yang, and heal. Exhale. Your hands come down. Heel, exhale. Step back, turn your left foot out. Left ball, set the left knee. Inhale. 
wrists, ball of the foot, inhale, yang, heel, exhale, elbows. Inhale, young. Exhale, yin. We're deliberately exaggerating the contrast between the two, just to create familiarity with these two different energies. Inhale, young. Exhale, yin. Inhale, young. Wrist, ball of the foot. Exhale, yin, elbows, heel. And just hang out in the yin for a moment and just feel into that. Continue to breathe, inhaling and exhaling. With each exhale, find yourself getting a little more sung. And step back with the right foot. Put your heels and feel the yin. Good, now let's go into a mabo, a horse stance. So pivot on your right heel, turn your right foot out. Pivot on your left heel, turn your left foot out. Now move your right heel out so your foot is pointing straight ahead. Pivot on your left. So now your, your feet are, both feet are pointing forward. You open the uh, uh, you know, the uh, the pelvis you open the legs round your your legs as you sit down as if you're riding a horse and only go down as as low as you feel comfortable if this is as low as you go that's fine the key here is that we're playing with central equilibrium and yin and yang in this posture. This is not about uh, uh, you know feats of strength here. This is about neshi, inward looking. And as you do it, you can get stronger at it. You can you can play around with with deeper, longer, whatever. But right now we're just exploring the energy of this of this posture, and it doesn't require a superhuman effort to make it happen. So at first, we want to feel the balls of the feet, set the knees, relax your lower back, allow your sacrum to drop. So you'll find that getting your pelvis lined up in this posture is really important for establishing a really good horse stance. Really, uh, it's, it's vital to get that, to get that, uh, that your pelvis nice and level. Otherwise, you're going to be doing a lot of, of uh, compensations in order to make it to make it work. So we're in the balls of the feet. Inhale, you're coming up, reaching with the wrists and the balls of your feet. Inhale, 
and then into your heels and exhale. Keeping your center equilibrium, you're feeling your elbows, your inner heels, your exhale sinking. Now into the balls of the feet and there's expansion. Feel that, oh, you're blowing up the balloon. And heels, Stick. elbows. Wrists, inhale, young. Balls of your feet. And exhale, elbows. Stop and hang out in the yin for a moment and just feel yourself sinking. Now feel the ball of the feet, yang, expansion, inhale. Heels and exhale. Pause your feet, inhale, yang. Heels, exhale, yin. Now hang out in the yin. And feel free to do this in a sitting posture too. Inhale, balls of the feet, yang, expand. And exhale, hands come down. Yin, heels. And pivot on your heels, bring them both in toward the center. Now pivot on the balls of your feet and bring the heels in and then straighten them out. Feel into your center equilibrium. And feel into your body, feel the fullness of the energy right now. Without moving, you want to feel the balls of the feet, the wrists, inhale. Now feel the heels, the elbows, exhale. Balls of the feet, wrists, inhale, yang. Heels, yin. Inhale, yang. Exhale, yin. Now just without doing anything, just feel into all those possibilities that we just covered. All the different postures, the yin and the yang and, and all of them. And just allow that to exist all those different possibilities to exist simultaneously as a energy potential that you have access to.
You familiarize yourself to a degree to the different energies. So they exist in your experience and in your body mind. And you can feel them as potentials. Now just feel into your heels now and allow the yin to dominate the conversation. Good, now feel the ball of the right foot at the right knee. Yang, step in with the left foot and go to the heels. Take a deep breath, balls of the feet, young expansion, feel your wrists opening, opening, reaching, gathering and exhale and yin, elbows, heels. dissolving the chi. And just feel into the emptiness now. Feel into the nowness, presence. Take a seat. Hey, Rick. <laughs> hey, Rick. Well, you took me on try to quite a trip tonight. We had the circus. We had an amusement park, and we had a water park. <laughs> all of the different all of the times it was like one of those little rides where you see somebody in the middle of a centrifugal force ball and all the different circles going all around and the person just staying in the middle as all circles around him and waves of coolness and waves of heat mm. it, it was it was three vacations in once thank you <laughs> Eloquently stated. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I say what I feel. There we go. I, 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 and, and, and beautifully. <laughs> you I took me out you. with your words. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, Peter. Oh, uh, okay. I was actually just changing to gallery view, but uh, it was really good. Uh, I'm starting to feel something. Uh, you know, I did sort of simple versions of everything, just wrists and, and balls of the feet, inhale, yang, back in the different postures. And um, it was very helpful tonight. I feel like I have a much better grip on central equilibrium in in theory and and you know as theory supports practice my favorite thing nice nice great scott um i gotta tell you i was a little skeptical that it was going to make much of a big difference just breathing in and out but Damn, that was a real much, much deeper, especially on the end, but both, but really a whole nother level, which was really cool. And who turned okay. on the heat? 
There, there was a lot of heat getting generated, wasn't there? I am cooking. <laughs> it was I, I'm, I, what, I'm amazed after 155 of these, you still approach <laughs> it with skepticism? <laughs> <laughs> Every week he pulls a rabbit out of the hat. Oh, he'll never do that. He's not pulling a rabbit out of the hat this week. No, 154, but 155, no rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Rick, I'm skeptical each week going into these things. Like, <laughs> where's, where's that damn rabbit? <laughs> right here, baby. I can't find him anywhere. <laughs> He's actually in the garden. In the garden. <laughs> uh, anybody else? Yes. Speak. Uh, so, as usual, I'm a little contrary. Um, oh, I good. Find, I, I find, find that, that refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding that I become much more aware of the toe when I'm in the heel and much more aware of the heel when I'm in the toe or the ball. Right, so that I really am feeling the whole foot more when I'm going back and forth, if, this, if that makes sense, right? So I'm not, I'm feeling the difference between yin and yang, but I feel like the whole foot is participating in it um, when I'm doing it. Uh, I think that is wonderful. I think oh, that- I'm off I think <laughs> I think you know you've added you know a uh, uh, another insight into that process, and what you're you know what I'm saying is deal with the whole foot exactly what right. you're saying there, but use you know, the bullseye is shifting now. I used to say the bullseye was always the ball of the foot, and that you know was really to get everybody so that we got enough stuff to work with. To be able to 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 notice it, and now I'm saying, okay, now we got that. We can go to, we don't have to look to just to the positive pole. We can also look at the negative pole as well, and and feel it. But you're always going to have that that whole foot there involved. So that that's great, great, great point you made there. Cool, thanks. You bet, Richard. Um, I I'm finding that the that the synchronization of uh, toe, wrist, and inhale, and heel, elbow, and exhale uh, is becoming very uh, meaningful. Oh, good. Uh, and it also occurs to me that um, being given permission to pay more attention to the negative, to the yin energy in the heel and that pathway uh, is, I, I don't think that that's a common, um, I don't think that's a common teaching in Tai Chi. Um, I don't know how, how does everybody else feel about that? I feel like Rick has given me permission to use that. And it's been, and I don't think anyone else has ever focused on that before. Not, I'm sure that other teachers do, but, uh, I, I, I feel as though that's, uh, I feel as though I've been released to uh, paying attention to a lot more of my energy flow. Um, Thank you, Richard. That's great. Yeah, I, I haven't run into it either. So I, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm not the first one because it's, it's there for, <laughs> it's, you know, it's obviously right there in front of us. So I'm just saying, hey, what about this thing here? You know, and so uh, I am, you know, I'm Captain Obvious. You know, I, I really am. <laughs> you know, the stuff that's hidden in plain sight is is kind of my bailiwick. And uh, I say, hey, point your finger. You know, it's <laughs> ah, <laughs> point my finger. You know, <laughs> it, you know, somehow it does something when you bring this conscious awareness to it that is not there if you you know, if you're just kind of sleepwalking through it. Peter. Yeah, I, I, this may be uh, 
repetitive. Um, but what I'm thinking, I'm thinking of central equilibrium now, you know, in a way as an issue of concentricity, you know, that we have like, we have many centers and uh, certainly you could say the center of attention of your conscious feeling when you're connecting to different levels of substantial, insubstantial from the physical structure, you know, I mean, the center of mental, you, we have a lot of centers, every, every dimension, you know, at least it seems to have a center uh, in our experience. And so I'm thinking that central, in a way, central equilibrium is the, the lining up of all those centers. The centers are all, of, all our centers are in the same center. They're concentric. Yes. And uh, yeah. What's the, uh, what's that device that spins around to create balance to- Gyroscope. Gyroscope, Gyroscope. yes. Gyroscope. Gyroscope. So yeah, I just thought of like central equilibrium as being like the the quality that gets generated by a gyroscope. You know, it's the gyroscope is not the the thing spinning around. You know, the, the I mean the, the gyroscope is, but the the quality that it's producing, the active principle there that creates that balancing effect that it has that leveling effect is is an insubstantial quality and similar to that you know we have this whenever we're organizing these different body mind spirit aspects we can create a similar kind of of uh, function there if that uh, if that image works for you guys seem to uh, seem to resonate for me Cool. Anybody else? All right. Um, thank you all so much. Thank you, Maria. Thank you so much. Fun. Thank and, you. Uh, great. Uh, really uh, happy you could all make it. And uh, uh, see you. See you soon. Bye bye. Thank you, Maria. Bye. Love you guys. Bye everybody.